Donald Trump shouldn't concede the election. He should fight this till the bitter end. And he has a lot of reasons he can justify doing so. Blatant election interference by big tech. Evidence of rampant voter fraud. Automatic mail-in voting ballots which cannot be certified. And of course the fundraising suppression that took place through a sustained campaign of fake news media polls. What Donald Trump shouldn't do is listen to the conservatives, the people telling him he needs to concede, for the supposed good of the republic. Donald Trump can actually better heal the partisan divide in our country by not stepping down. He can bring America closer together than it's ever been and end the culture war. I know that sounds real crazy. Just hear me out though. Let me explain. It seems like over the last 40 years, the neoliberal establishment has done everything they can to turn the United States into a third world country. It's done so primarily by flooding the US with millions of people from the third world. The costs of things like housing, university education, and healthcare have all skyrocketed. As a result of that, the average American is deeply in debt. Debts that are increasingly hard to service due to stagnant wages. Recently, social problems have started getting real bad in America. Problems like homelessness, a never-ending opioid crisis, record levels of property crimes. And now what do the neoliberals tell us we need to do? Defund the police. The absolute hallmark of any third world country is a poorly funded, inefficient police force. By strictly limiting immigration, Trump created the greatest American economy that we've seen in the last 40 years. For the first time, workers saw their wages increase. If these trends continued, the average American worker's wages would go up, while at the same time the cost of things like housing, education, and healthcare would go down. Of course, none of this really mattered to the neoliberal elite class who live in wealthy enclaves where they avoid the consequences of their own policies policies. They hate the rest of the country. To them, we're what Joe Biden calls the chumps and the ugly folk. They hate us so much that they secretly revolted from our country. They're now citizens of the globe. And the last thing you said I think is the most telling. You said our own people. I don't know what the fuck you mean by our own people. I don't identify with the people of my country any more than I do with the people of the rest of the world. Because they've isolated themselves from the rest of us, they don't have to deal with the third world problems that they cause. Well, I've got a news alert. You don't get to turn America into a third world country and avoid the consequences. We all know third world countries and political instability go hand in hand. That's because institutions in third world countries can't maintain the trust of the people. And this of course is the reality that the neoliberals have created today in America. Donald Trump refusing to stand down is just desserts for Joe Biden and the neoliberals. But hey, Joe Biden tells you not to worry about any of that. Ignore all of the serious issues that made the election terribly unfair. They're just going to forcibly remove Trump from the White House. Okay, do it. Donald Trump is the most popular person in America and perhaps the entire world. Joe Biden? He doesn't come close. The left has fantasized about this for so long. AOC is already working on the list of people that are going to be repressed by the new administration. So why would someone like me invite for something like this to happen? If Donald Trump refuses to stand down, it'll amount to a direct attack on the morality of the cathedral. The cathedral being the corrupt super entity that engages in fascist oppression of conservatives. So let's say hypothetically Trump refuses to step down because big tech interfered in the election. Trump comes out and says because they censored his campaign, he fears that there'll be some sort of totalitarian oppression by big tech against his supporters. He therefore takes the position that he didn't think it was a fair election and he's not going to step down until his concerns are addressed. Again, Trump will have challenged the moral authority of the cathedral. In reality, America is a nihilistic country. It's been that way ever since we abandoned the idea of Christian virtue following World War II. The cathedral's morality is completely fake. So what happens when Joe Biden and the media start ordering violent attacks and repression? People will start to question their moral authority. At that point, they'll be exposed because they have no legitimate moral authority. This creates an opportunity for the rise of an overman. 
also known in German as the Ubermensch. The very person that Nisha predicted would one day rise and usher in a new morality. I believe the reason that an overman hasn't risen yet is because of the constant conflict between liberalism and progressivism. For an overman to rise, these ideologies need to be defeated or dominated over. In my view, this is a necessary thing that'll be good for our society because economic philosophies cannot be systems of morality. As long as this doesn't happen, we'll just be stuck in this culture war with both sides hating each other. So here's how it would work. The political instability will cause numerous instances of crisis. The overman, which would need to be someone with a big platform, would emerge. He will correctly point out to everyone that the political crisis is actually a moral crisis. We don't have a shared morality, and that's why the political factions can't resolve their differences. The only way out of the crisis, then, would be for all of us to rally around the new morality. This is, in my view, the only way to end the culture war. We do it by destroying our fake morality and culture and replacing it with a new one. Donald Trump absolutely cannot stand down if he cares about his conservative supporters. Otherwise, us conservatives are going to be subjected to unprecedented levels of repression by a Joe Biden administration teaming up with big tech. Forget about the idea of the Republicans ever winning another election. They'll fire us from our jobs. They'll take away our bank accounts. And finally, they'll defund our police. Donald Trump cannot let this happen. He needs to fight for us, and we need to fight for him. Unless a moral order is restored, there is no line that these people are going to be unwilling to cross.